In this video, we'll be discussing how to subset data in R. And so we'll be using the iris data set, or a subset of the iris data set. And so I'm, if I type iris, you'd see I'm using the first three rows of the iris data set. So let's say that we wanted to get the first column of this data frame. And so we can do iris and then open brackets. And then, so the first input before a comma means you're talking about a row. And then the second input after the comma means you're talking about the column. And so if we put one, this means that we want the first column. And so here you see that we managed to get the first column of this data frame. Now, what if we wanted the first row? Then we'd simply type iris one comma. And then if we run this, you see now we actually have the data from the first row of this data frame. And so another way to do this is by typing iris dollar sign. And then here you see you have the column names to choose from. So let's say we want the third column petal.length. And so if you run this, you see that we're able to get the values from the third column. Now, let's say that we wanted to subset this data frame such that we are only looking at particular values. Let's say for the uh, sepal length, let's say we only wanted to look at rows with a value of five or less. And so a way we can do that is by typing iris and we will subset the rows and such that we could type iris of petal length is less than five. So I want to show you what this looks like. It's actually just a Boolean vector. So you see that it's false, true, true, because for the first column, uh, it's true that it's, it's false that 5.1 is, is uh, less than 5, but then it's true for the other two columns. And so if we go ahead and run this, you see that in fact gave us the, the rows that we wanted. And uh, let's say we wanted now to subset the columns, we simply type iris. And let's say we wanted the... Um, Let's say we wanted a uh, petal length. I already showed a previ two previous ways we can do that using the dollar sign and using just the index, which you can also use the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and here you see that we have the values that we want. And so this has been a video on how to subset data frames in R.